today is uh, February 20th, 2016. This document is a fax sent to illegal aliens mafia member uh, and commissioner of the Department of Social Services in Westchester County, Westchester, New York, Kevin McGuire. He is an illegal aliens mafia member who is in charge of the um, Department of Social Services and uh, the stealing and selling of illegal aliens mafia victims uh, identities. In other words, he um, steals and sells all the uh, citizens identities and government benefits that come across his desk and make a lot of money, of money for the illegal aliens mafia. In this case, he uh, stole and sold the identity of Luisa Oyarsun uh, in her New York State um, pension as well as her New York State medical insurance, New York State trade Medicaid. And also stole $13,000 of her Social Security disability benefits after Ms. Oyarsun worked dozens of years in her life uh, until she got the second cancer operation of course and then became disabled. Um, she worked many many years to contribute to her social security, uh, paid her taxes and did everything right and now her uh, identity and government benefits are being used by illegal aliens mafia members across the uh, state of New York and across the country because uh, Kevin McGuire sells the identity and um, multiply it, uh, make many copies of the same identity and sell it uh, to illegal aliens and illegals across the country in different counties since uh, the computers don't communicate f from county to county. So the illegals can apply for government benefits, welfare, and whatever they uh, want uh, in uh, in the different counties of the United States. You can imagine how many uh, identities they can uh, make copies of uh, and uh, defraud the taxpayers and government funds monies uh, through this scheme. Uh, this fax uh, reads, despite your con uh, contacting all the notary publics in the town or in the city of Yonkers, and ordering them not to notarize my federal lawsuit against you for theft, persecution, and trafficking of citizens' identities and government benefits. I filed the lawsuit against you. She says that because uh, every time she went to notarize uh, her federal lawsuit, uh, no notary public would want to notarize, uh, notarize it because uh, illegal Aliens Mafia member Kevin McGuire sent dozens of uh, illegals and illegal aliens mafia members um, after her and follow, follow her everywhere sh uh, she's taken by her um, caretaker and uh, she orders the notary public not to notarize documents for her so he can continue to steal and sell her uh, identity and benefits and this is a normal drill for the illegal aliens mafia they uh, intimidate hunt down harass follow stock and ultimately kill the uh, their victims the illegal aliens mafia victims that's what he has been doing with uh, elderly disabled citizen Luisa Yarson. so that's why she mentions uh, the notary public um, incidents. She had to go to a different city uh, from Yonkers, New York to um, White Plains, New York to notarize this document. And then when she went to, when she was taken by her uh, caretaker to the federal court, they refused to take the uh, federal lawsuit. Uh, and uh, until she's, she mentioned that the federal lawsuit was drafted by um, a licensed uh, lawyer who practices in federal court 
then she they had no other choice but to take the the lawsuit because they wanted to imply that the lawsuit was not uh, written the way it was supposed to be written and whatnot because she is pro se and she's filing the lawsuit against Kevin McGuire pro se because all the other lawyers that um, she visited are intimidated by this mafia of illegals and uh, so sh she finally uh, got somebody to um, write the lawsuit for her the way it was supposed to be written and then she took it to federal court so moving on, um, the facts reads, uh, Sandra Luisa Oyarsun, elderly, disabled, chronically ill uh, cancer patient. Um, Luisa Oyarsun. And uh, then it says, attention to Westchester County Department of Social Services, illegal aliens mafia member, Kevin McGuire. Okay, this uh, has her name twice, so we should we should take that out. And then it has the date and time. Uh, it has two different phone numbers because this illegal alias mafia member, which is a state employee called Kevin McGuire, wor works with different uh, people, different illegal aliens mafia members across uh, the country and across the state of New York. Uh, he works with somebody, uh, with many people, I should say, in Albany. So we sent the fax to uh, his office at 914-995-3285 and uh, his uh, illegal aliens mafia colleagues at 518. 473-6735. He has three um, pages and the date is uh, February 20th, 2016 as you can see. And down there it reads Illegal Aliens Mafia member and Commissioner of Westchester Department of Social Services, Westchester, New York, Kevin McGuire. He says, uh, despite your effort to prevent me from filing a federal lawsuit against you and trying to kill me by telling me uh, by denying me uh, my state medical insurance which was sold to illegals across the country since 2011 of course it is now 2016 for five years approximately I filed the lawsuit anyway your people at the federal and other courts tried to give me the runaround but they by law had to file it and then it says, have a good day, um, education before everything else. And this is the fax receipt, which shows that he received it. He has the date uh, and the time and also the uh, fax information. Here you can tell that uh, we went through, this is the date and the time, and he has be okay as you can see okay the phone number is there then uh, it continues to read this is the paper that uh, Luisa Oyarsson received after uh, she contacted the media and different government um, officials regarding the uh, illegal aliens mafia trafficking of citizens identities and government benefits in her own case uh, uh, usually when citizens report the illegal aliens mafia or one of uh, its members they get harassed antagonized they go to their houses or homes or apartments break down their doors uh, you can imagine like if we were in Kuwait or Cuba on um, China well, they break down their doors and uh, threaten them, menace them, uh, intimidate and coerce them, threaten them with uh, falsifying federal and state records and uh, saying that they're going to uh, falsely arrest the person or that they're going to uh, get somebody's uh, medical file, uh, a, a person that is crazy, and erase their names and demographic information and put the 
the citizens' name and demographic information and have them uh, committed to a mental institution if they continue to report uh, the illegal aliens mafia or any of the members that are selling the citizens' identities and government benefits. Well, this letter comes from, supposedly, from uh, Albany, the New York State Office of Temporary and Disability Assistance, which is really interesting because it tells, it reads uh, as follows. Um, this was after uh, Luisa Oyarsson contacted the media and different government um, officials and uh, gave them the evidence that uh, Kevin McGuire is trafficking with citizens' identities and government benefits, including Luisa Oyarsson's. Um, after Luisa Oyarsson sent Kevin McGuire the notice of claim for the federal lawsuit against him and his uh, people, uh, he sent, uh, as always, uh, his uh, supervisees which are also like him, government or employees, state government employees. And he uh, sent them to harass and antagonize Luisa Oyarsson and let her know that uh, she's being watched by them. Uh, in other words, they are telling them, you're going to die because you filed, uh, you're trying to file a lawsuit against our boss, Kevin McGuire, and you are giving us a hard time uh, contacting news reporters and uh, government officials about our criminal um, organized crime group or mafia, however you want to call it. So after she filed a notice of claim, uh, and he sent uh, two of his people and uh, sh uh, we recorded these people and uh, gave the uh, video to the news reporters and different government officials who are against the illegal aliens mafia and uh, their killing of citizens after stealing their identities and government benefits uh, and selling them to illegal aliens, continue to sell them to illegal aliens across the country. So after that, um, she received maybe a couple of weeks after she gave the videos to different people, she received this letter saying, oh, you know, uh, you don't qualify for adult protective service uh, to make believe that she herself applied <laughs> for this uh, uh, fraud uh, of an agency created in reality to protect the citizens, but uh, being used uh, as the opposite. It is used to intimidate and harass citizens who dare to report the illegal aliens mafia or any of its employees. So after um, the news reporters got this, then she received this letter. It reads, Department of Social Services, um, uh, Dear Luisa Oyars, when he has the address, as uh, a request for protective services for adults have been reviewed by this office. There was no request. Uh, the only request was made by Kevin McGuire, which is the person, the state employees, employee that uh, elderly disabled citizen Luis Ayerson is suing for theft and trafficking of government, government benefits and citizens' identities. So let's go on. He says, a request for uh, protective services for adults have been reviewed by this office in accordance with Social Services Law 473. We find that you are currently ineligible to receive protective services for adults, uh, adults due to the fact that, and then they list, uh, you have another system or person willing and able to assist in, respo uh, in a responsible manner. As if it's here. Um, this is what they do. They make believe that they are trying to help the citizens, but in reality, this office, this agency is used to intimidate the citizens who dare to report the illegal aliens underground organization or the illegal aliens mafia. Um, so after the news reporters got this, uh, they sent this to Luisa Oyasun. Ten days, approximately ten days after. Um, uh, other people uh, continued to uh, persecute and um, stalk and followed Luisa Oyarsun 
to every doctor's office or everywhere uh, she was taken by her caretaker and uh, she also had one of the, those people uh, the illegal aliens mafia members working for Kevin McGuire recorded and uh, gave this to uh, different people and different news reporters um, so they lied. They say that she doesn't qualify uh, for a dog protective service. Nevertheless, they continue to come after her, after they received their boss, uh, Kevin McGuire, received the notice of claim for the federal lawsuit against him and his mafia. And then it is interesting how they have um, your state office of temporary and disability assistance, office of administrative hearings, uh, which is really interesting because she didn't apply for any hearing or anything like that. Uh, the only one that quote unquote applies for adult protective services is for the, the different citizens is when the city is uh, Kevin McGuire or the commissioner of the Department of Social Services. Uh, when they are reported for theft and for trafficking of citizens identities and government benefits. So, Luisa Oyerson received this letter. It has the Albany address, uh, phone number, and fax number, as you can see. However, it also has the phone number of Kevin McGuire's uh, supervisees, as you can see. So, it wasn't, uh, this letter didn't come from Albany. This letter came from um, Kevin McGuire's office. And uh, by the way, uh, we went to one of his offices and we uh, witnessed the uh, selling of a citizen's identity and government benefits to an illegal, to, to an illegal um, while we were at that office. And the woman was saying, well, you know, are you sure I'm going to get those benefits? And the uh, Kevin McGuire supervisee answered, sure, I already gave you uh, a citizen's um, identity with all the, the government benefits, so you will have no problems getting the benefits. And the woman was illegal because we knew the woman. So uh, after that, we realized that uh, we, we had to report this. So let's continue with the uh, letter. He says here, Mr. Kevin McGuire, your supervisees from Adult Protective Services stopped coming to my apartment because of the reason you listed below, uh, which is you, uh, you have another system or person willing and able to assist in a responsible manner, or because I had your illegal aliens, mafia members, uh, and traffickers of citizens' identities and government benefits recorded and uh, they, uh, when they came to intimidate and let me know that you are watching me after I sent you the notice of claim for the federal lawsuit that I filed against you. Uh, unfortunately for you, I also had your uh, other employee, the one that came like 10 days after uh, Luisa Oyarzon received this letter, uh, uh, recorded and gave the tape and uh, pertinent documents to the press across the country and also to different government officials across the country. So people who have uh, the right to know what is happening, uh, realize who is Kevin McGuire and what the Illegal Aliens Organization or the Illegal Aliens Mafia does to uh, citizens in the United States. By the way, there is like uh, uh, 200,000 uh, illegals coming into the country, uh, Muslims, who, are, who have a full cover welfare package, while Luisa Oyarsun is dying of cancer uh, because um, Kevin McGuire and the other illegal aliens mafia members uh, in the state of New York took away her New York State straight Medicaid, her medical insurance after she worked dozens of years and paid taxes and contributed to her social security benefits and everything in the country. So it doesn't seem that fair that uh, 200,000 uh, Muslim uh, refugees are coming into the country with full wel welfare package, uh, you know, medical assistance, uh, housing assistance, um, 
clothing, uh, furniture assistant, everything paid for, while the vet, uh, vets uh, in our country and the elderly citizens in our country who worked dozens of years of, her, of their lives uh, get nothing. Uh, they they worked and contribute to their government benefits so their identities and government benefits can be sold to illegals by uh, state employees like Kevin McGuire and his supervisees. It doesn't seem fair. Anyways, uh, it continues to read, luckily I haven't died due to your uh, telling my doctor doctor quote-unquote because Lisa Oyarsun cannot go to any doctor only to a doctor that she's allowed to go to which is an illegal alias mafia doctors and falsifies the documents for Kevin McGuire uh, uh, um, whenever Kevin McGuire tells him to do so so he told this doctor not to provide the uh, medication for Luisa Oyasson so her health deteriorates and she slowly and painfully dies of cancer and other illnesses like um, uh, tumors across the uh, all around her body and uh, uh, one of the last tumors a cancerous tumor is in uh, her right lung so she's dying of that too she also has uh, three leaking uh, two leaking heart valves and three stomach ulcers a severe back injury and epilepsy among other things so but you know they uh, still took away uh, the medical insurance because the illegals across the country had to use it so they are well taken care of um, across the country and well it reads uh, locally I haven't died due to your telling my doctor and uh, pharmacist not to sell or give me my medication uh, and then she says see you in court uh, also down here she wrote is reading it is interesting how this letter has an Albany address and a fax number and Kevin McGuire's employees phone numbers and then she has the uh, the signature there Luisa Yarsons and then it reads and close please find my filed federal lawsuit against you and your mafia members um, this one is stamped by the federal court, as you can see, uh, with the date February 16th, 2016. Finally, after trying for about a month or so, they were forced to f uh, take the lawsuit and file it. And, by the way, while I took Luisa Oyasun to file this lawsuit, we had dozens uh, upon dozens of illegal aliens and illegal aliens mafia members uh, after us trying to see uh, who we talk to, who we see and if we talk to any news reporters or any anybody else uh, and if we go to any place um, so they can make a call, Ken McGuire can make a call and tell the place where we go not to provide us any services whatsoever so that's why we had so many trouble so many so much trouble notarizing the lawsuit uh, which is the first page is here and also filing the lawsuit because two uh, county clerks refused to file the lawsuit against Kevin McGuire he's one of the big guys he's one of the uh, guys uh, who have killed the most I guess uh, citizens uh, after taking their stealing their identities and selling them to illegal aliens uh, across the country he has been doing this for 25 years according to my 15 years research and investigation uh, with total immunity I should say and impunity uh, so the lawsuit reads in the matter of claim in the, uh, in the matter of the claim of Lisa Yarson uh, claiming against Wake Fern uh, Corporate Food Corporation Commissioner of Westchester Department of Social Services that the state employee that I mentioned be mentioned before Kevin McGuire Westchester Department of Social Services Westchester County Shoprite uh, Frank uh, Mostachio Ben Pabon Tocaho 
assistant manager Ronald and midsection staff Reynaldo. Reynaldo is one of the people that they used to send to violently harass and intimidate Luisa Oyarzun or her caretaker every time um, they went to shop at ShopRite to buy groceries for elderly disabled citizen Luisa Oyarzun there. And uh, Frank Mostacho and Ben Pavon are uh, members of the illegal aliens mafia who exchange um, food stamps for cash uh, to members of the illegal aliens mafia and uh, they were refusing, refusing to sell any groceries to Luisa Oyarzun or anybody who assists her in any way, shape or form because uh, Luisa Oyarzun was forced to um, report the Illegal Aliens Mafia and the Illegal Aliens Mafia member uh, Kevin McGuire for stealing her identity and government benefits and causing her to um, have her cancer spread uh, after a lack of uh, medical care uh, for a lack of um, her New York State medical insurance or her New York State straight Medicaid, which was stolen and sold to illegals by Kevin McGuire. So um, we have these people uh, refusing the services, so they were uh, the lawsuit was filed against them as well in the county of Westchester. Then it says. Um, it follows the procedure or the format of uh, the lawsuit. This is the first page, but the lawsuit uh, is actually six pages. We just wanted to show you that it was stamped by the uh, federal court. And what these people do is that when the, a victim of the illegals uh, or the illegal mafia goes to a court, they have them falsely arrested and accused uh, of anything they can think of but they always hide the camera and they say that the camera cannot be shown or the camera was not working uh, in the entire court when the incident happened um, because they lied and they uh, file the police officers uh, which are illegal aliens mafia members filed